Clint, you made the comment before the game that you're a better player now than you've ever been and you're ready to show it off. Is tonight what you had in mind? <laughs> uh, I guess. Um, tonight was fun, you know. Um, it felt good to get the first at bat out of the way and just kind of be able to breathe. But, you know, I, I'm like I said, I feel like I'm a little more advanced in some areas and I'm just glad that tonight was able to, to start with a bang. You mentioned that first at bat. Is there instant validation when you're able to step up to the plate for the first time and go deep like that, especially after two weeks off? Yeah, I mean, tonight was my first real game of 2020. You know, it's been a, a lot of sim games, and it, it felt good to to get instant results. You know, it's not going to be that easy every time I step in the plate, but we faced a good pitcher, and, and you know, Gary, you know, obviously set the tone for, for that inning, and, and I just tried to to build off him and it felt it felt good. I'm just, you know, thrilled that I got to play tonight. You'd mentioned that you've advanced in some areas that there's been growth. What are those areas that you feel like that you've improved a lot in? Um hitting for hitting for starters. Um defense, you know, I, I didn't get a lot of opportunities to to show it off out there tonight, but I made the simple plays, which is all that's asked for. And I think just overall my mental game you know I mean it's just it's been a, a tough go around the last couple months and I I've had a lot of time to think about you know how I want to approach things and and obviously try to capitalize whenever I do and it was it was a good night overall for everybody thanks Clint Marley Rivera go ahead you have the next question um, hey, Clint, obviously before the game, you said, you know, what Meredith just asked you about making a splash, but it's very difficult to do what you did today as a young player, you know, to come in and perform this way. How were you able to do that? Um, I think fortunately for me, it's not my, my debut. It's my debut for 2020, but, you know, obviously having the games under my belt and, and playing in New York, they, they kind of, uh, they're a little bit different here. The atmosphere kind of allows you to, to have big moments and and you know kind of thrive off those so no one in the stands made it pretty easy to go out there and just feel relaxed and and try to you know have a good game that's interesting so the no fans thinks this this was your first experience how was it it was quiet um but it was fun you know i mean it's still baseball it's still co uh, a competitive atmosphere but it's different you know i mean obviously the team is you know having a really good start right now so you know, we wish fans were in the stands, but the, it is what it is, and we're just going to try to make the most of it during the time that, you know, we're out there. Thanks, Clint. Mm -hmm. Take another from Bruce Beck. Go ahead, Bruce. But did you ever wonder if you'd get a chance again in 2020 uh, as you did tonight? That thought crossed my mind a few times, you know. Obviously, being down in the, the alternate site for, I wouldn't say an extended period of time, but at least a few weeks was – was tough and you know at times I wondered am I gonna am I gonna make it back and you know obviously something came up for me to come here and and I'm here and I I wondered am I gonna get a chance or am I just gonna kind of hang out and watch the games and I'm just you know overall thrilled that I got the the opportunity tonight and I'm hoping that another one comes shortly in the in the future thank you James Wagner go ahead and unmute you have the next question Hey Clint, what's up? Um, I, I know this. Is, I think we probably talked about this in spring training, but like, does your front leg, like the way you have it, kind of, does this seem like even more twisted in, like in your setup? And like, if that's the case, like, what, how does that help you? What does that do? Why do that? I think for me, um, I'm more of a like a handsy hitter than a lower body. I have a little bit more of like a feel for the up the upper half as far as the lower half goes. So I try to just. I try to just preset my lower half because I don't even want to think about it, you know, and, and everything stems from my hands just kind of being in a certain rhythm and, and just the coiled front leg just allows me to keep everything behind the ball and just swing as hard as I can. And is that the same thing on that home run? I, I know you have kind of like that, that pause before you threw that, the, the fastball and then you hit it. That, is that what you mean by all hands? That, that was, is, that, is that what you're talking about? That was basically just the hand reaction? Uh, I mean, I mean more if, if you, I haven't watched the video yet, but I'm sure I felt in the, whenever he paused, my hands were paused with him. And whenever he started to go, I started to kind of waggle my hands back and forth. It's all, it's all rhythm for me. I feel 
if I'm stagnant, I don't feel as good, but it's just like, I don't know how to really explain it. It's more of like a feeling that I can feel better than vocalize, but it's just preset in my lower half because I don't even want to think about it and just keeping my hands in rhythm as long as I can before the pitcher throws.